every other author looks like a Hollywood star on Facebook Live and I look like some bloody book hag. <sighs> Perhaps it's the angle. That's slightly better. Mm. <clears throat> Well, that's the best I can do. Let's get this show on the road. Hello, and welcome to my Facebook Live session novel. For those who don't know me, and according to my sales figures, that's a lot of people, my name is Jessie Legree. I'm an erotic romance author, and I've come online today to talk about my latest novel. The Hungry Housewife. It's an erotic romance about a lonely, bored housewife who embarks on a series of raw, passionate affairs while her husband is away on business trips. Be warned, it's hot and steamy and not for the faint-hearted or the weak-hearted. <laughs> anyway, I'll just read you a passage from the first page. Um... OK, <clears throat> August, sorry, the August night was hot, so hot. <sighs> Kyle, Kyle, Hello. leave the cat alone. Kyle, put the cat down. Now, I'm not in the fish tank. Oh, God. Sorry about that. Slight technical hitch. Now, where were we? Oh yes, The Hungry Housewife, Chapter 1. A Nighttime Knock. The August night was hot. So hot, Jemima tossed and turned in her king-sized bed. The black satin sheets wrinkling under her sweating body, like the waves on a moonlit ocean. The night air was still and not a drop of breeze entered through her bedroom windows. Suddenly there was a rustle and a scrape as a figure dressed in black climbed through her window. A shadow fell across her bed. She smiled and said, <laughs> OK, Kyle. No. No, I can't find the leftover sardines. I know the cat's upset. Oh, can you please deal with it? I'm on Facebook Live. I think they're in the fridge in the Tupperware with the yellow plastic lid underneath the bacon. <sighs> oh, shit. I've got to press pause. Sorry about that. You know what husbands are like. Mine couldn't find a fish in a fishmonger's. Anyway. Ooh. Right. Where were we? Um, okay. <clears throat> anyway. A shadow fell across her bed. She smiled and said, You're early. Mark just left. He might have caught you. The figure in the mask laughed quietly and said, don't worry, darling. That's the only time I'll come early tonight. I just couldn't wait to be with you. He slid into the sheets and into her arms. Oh, God. Yes, Kyle. Oh, OK. Well, just remember to flush. Oh, and wipe. Uh, no, no, no. The cat doesn't need to sit on the potty. No. Oh. What? Please. Oh, sorry about that. Honestly. I really am sorry about that. It's uh, <laughs> the uh, perils of working from home, shall we say. Yeah. 
um right okay um so where were we now <laughs> well we've done the first page haven't we the meeting of jesse and her mysterious masked lover i'll now move on to the next chapter of the hungry housewife um here we go <clears throat> Jesse lay back among the tousled sheets, gasping for breath, as her secret lover fell panting beside her. He turned and whispered in her ear, How was it for you, love? Jesse smiled. Not bad, but next time, come in more quietly, or you'll wake the neighbours. He laughed. I'll try harder next time. He pushed a stray strand of hair from her flushed face, Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. We have a viewer. Oh, and a comment. Oh, put my glasses on for this. Oh, and it's a message from uh, Roger who says, I love all your ebooks and can't wait to get my hands on The Hungry Housewife. Oh, how exciting. Well, Thank you so much, Roger. You are in luck because the ebook came online today and is available at a special book launch day price of only 99p. Yeah. Oh, and we have another question from Roger. How do I get the inspiration for my stories? Well, Roger, you know, a girl can't tell all her secrets. Sometimes you have to leave things to your readers' imaginations. Oh, he's typing again. Hmm? I like your wet shirt. I can see your bra. It's pink. I like pink undies. What? You bloody weirdo. I'm a respectably married woman, Roger. Goodness me. And there you go. No more Roger. Just because I write about sex, it doesn't mean I'm some sort of sex addict. I'm a professional author and I write from my imagination. Goes the same for Stephen King. He's not a mass serial killer, is he? He's an author and writes from his imagination too. God. <sighs> right. OK. Um. Let's see. We were back on... Oh, oh, God. Yeah, no night, baby. Yeah, I'll be up in a minute. Steve, Steve, make sure you read him a story, a nice story, not that dinosaur one again. God, terrified him. Oh, and check the wardrobe. Oh, and underneath his bed for crocodiles. Well, you were the one who let him watch that bloody David Attenborough documentary. <sighs> right, okay, sorry. Where were we? Mm, let's see. Oh, I'm now going to read from chapter three. OK, that's what I'm going to do next. So let me find chapter three. Uh, let's see now. Uh, oh, oh, we've got another question. And here's one from Diana. She writes... Am I ashamed that my books objectify women as sex objects? Thanks for that, Diana. If you've actually read any of my books, you'll know I objectify everyone as sex objects. Even some objects are objectified. It's just a natural human process, for God's sake. And we all do it. And if we didn't do it, well, there'd be no human race. God. It's not sexist if I sexualise everyone. Huh? Right, so time for one last question from Amy. Uh, some of your ideas are quite wild. How do you get the ideas? Well, <laughs> definitely not from personal experience. As I said before, I am an author, so I just have a vivid imagination, that's all. <laughs> well... Thank you for joining me this evening. I hope you have found it fun and informative. If you'd like to download your copy of The Hungry Housewife, the links are below. Um, bye. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, that was agony.
Good night.